Hello everyone, Razorblade Mango here, and uh, <laughs> um, welcome to my thoughts on the latest game from Arcane Austin, published by Bethesda, and technically Xbox, Redfall. Uh, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's pretty rare that I come do one of these videos where I talk about one specific game, be it a game I've played in the past or very recently. And I am just absolutely dumbfounded. I, I am, I'm almost speechless when I look at Redfall and I play it. And normally I have a rule when it comes to reviewing videos on this channel is that I don't make one about a game until I have spent enough time marinating on the game so I can have my thoughts presented succinctly and I feel confident in them and I feel like they've aged better. But I'm gonna break my own rule with Redfall because no amount of marinating is going to change how I currently feel about Redfall. And what an absolute fucking embarrassment it is for Arcane, for Bethesda, and most importantly, I think, for Xbox. This is the first triple A, and these are like the biggest quotes I can come up quote triple A, unquote game from Xbox in almost a year and a half ever since Halo Infinite they have not released a single big triple-a video game they've released video games since then but not to the scale of Halo Infinite not to the scale of something like this not to the scale of Starfield so this is the first one and this is the one that they ended their 2021 presentation with as their big one more thing and this is one of the games that they led with they led with Redfall during their 2022 presentation and they ended their first ever developer direct with Redfall and uh, yeah this game sucks um, no pun intended this game is this game is just a mess. It, it's an artistic, technical, any kind of mess you can think of. It's a mess. I, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that it's one of the absolute worst games I've ever played. And I must admit, I did get some unintentional entertainment value out of it. Just showing it to people and laughing at its incompetency. And just, <laughs> I just, I couldn't help but laugh at just some of the things that I saw in Redfall. And I was just, I was astounded that this, that this came from Arcane Austin. It doesn't even feel like Arcane made this. It doesn't feel like any AAA developer made this. And I think if Redfall had come out in the state that it's in, and it was presented as the first game from some like no name shit muncher studio and they released it as a free to play title in early access to be supported with microtransactions i think you could make a case that it's like well it's not very good but the given time it could be better maybe but something like this coming from a studio with a pedigree like Arcane, and under the backing of Bethesda and Xbox, this is pathetic. This is Redfall is absolutely pathetic as a video game. And what makes it worse is that this is the first game that Xbox is charging $70 for. I don't give a shit that it's on Game Pass, I, and I'll get to that in a bit. I don't give a fuck that it's on Game Pass. I don't care. They are charging you. If you don't have Game Pass, this game is at bare minimum $70. 
Yeah, that's right. The same price as a lavishly produced game like God of War Ragnarok, like Horizon Forbidden West, uh, like the upcoming Tears of the Kingdom. It's more expensive than Resident Evil 4 Remake. <laughs> it's... Let that sink in. It is more expensive than Resident Evil 4 Remake. Wow. Uh... Wow. The, the nerve, the absolute nerve of Xbox and Bethesda to release this game. The nerve on Arcane to not realize in, in like the middle of development that this was going to suck and it needed to just be canceled. And going back to Game Pass, I would argue that time is an equally, if not more important, the resource than money. It is precious. And I would not recommend anyone who owns Game Pass to spend their precious time downloading this ungodly large file of, of 100 gigabytes, especially on PC. I don't know why this fucking game is 100 gigabytes, but it is, with how fucking ugly it looks at times. Do not spend your time, your precious, valuable time on this earth, downloading this piece of shit video game and then playing it for any length of time. I would not recommend it. Don't be me. Do not be me. Learn from me. I will be the guinea pig. That's okay. Don't play Redfall. Because the problems in this game are so numerous that it's it's shocking it's 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 rare that a game just renders me nearly speechless with how incompetent it is and i don't think any amount of polishing i don't even think 60 frames on console will ever fix this game because the core of this game is shit the the shooting feels awful the menu ui and navigation sucks the environments are barren. The, the, it's, it's, it's no hyperbole. When you've seen people say this, it is no hyperbole that you could walk like a third to a half of the map in a straight line and not encounter any enemies. That, hap that has happened to me. It's no hyperbole when people say that the AI in this game is brain dead. And brain dead is putting it lightly the, the AI in this game is just, it, it's like so stupid to the point where it's, it's like, it almost feels like a parody of a video game. It's like, it's like somebody made a free Steam parody of an open world game. And that's Redfall, where the AI is so dumb, where they literally will stare at you. You'll be within their cone of vision and they'll just go, duh, I don't, I don't see him. I don't see her, him. I, oh, where's the, where the enemy? I don't see them. And then you just shoot them in the head until they die. It's, it's no hyperbole that when you encounter a vampire, the, the selling points, one of the selling points of this game, as far as the enemies, fighting vampires, it's no hyperbole that a common strategy to beat vampires in this game is to either back away slowly and move to the left every time they attack to dodge their attacks or to stand behind an object so their brain dead AI bugs out where they just keep hitting the car over and over again and missing you. They don't have it in their DNA somewhere, in their code somewhere to move slightly around the car to come and hit you. None of that is hyperbolic, if you've seen that, from anybody talking about this game or presenting the game. I couldn't believe it. When, when I sat down to play this game with Kleilex the, the night it came out, both of us were absolutely dumbfounded by the quality of this game, by how ugly it is, by how just bad the, the texture rendering and the shadows and the graphics are, by how ugly the art design is, by how just 
lifeless this world feels by how <laughs> generic cookie cutter this this game design is this 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 open world formula that they're going with this was outdated at the beginning of the last generation in fact this was starting to get old at the end of the ps3 xbox 360 generation and speaking of xbox 360 ps3 i've heard people say that this game looks like it was made during the xbox 360 era I would say that too, but I have seen PS3 games and Xbox 360 games that make this game look like a joke graphically. In fact, I have seen PlayStation 2 games that look better than Redfall. God of War 2, back on the PS2, looked better than this. Fucking, and this, again, this is not hyperbole. Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> One from 2002 had better art direction, better lip syncing, better facial animation, more vibrant worlds than Redfall. Let that sink in. Kingdom Hearts 1 has better lip syncing, <laughs> art direction, environmental detail, level design, cutscenes and let's talk about the cutscenes because in Redfall what you get for cutscenes are slideshows barely animated slideshows every time you go to one of these stupid boring cutscenes in this game it's not fully animated doesn't at all look like the trailers have made it out to look no 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 what you get is a nice slideshow is that wonderful isn't that wonderful that that Xbox and Arcane and Bethesda think that $70 it, it, it warrants providing the player with not an animated cutscene, at least one, but just slideshows that are backed up by narration. Isn't that great? Doesn't that just doesn't that make you feel valued as a loyal customer? Doesn't it make you feel valued as a fan of the Xbox brand, as a fan of Arcane, as a fan of Bethesda. Does that just feel great? That that's, they think so fucking little of you that they can't even bother to animate their fucking cutscenes? Unreal. Uh, un <laughs> unreal. And, and you know what? You don't even really bother missing anything if you skip the cutscenes. No, no, no. I, I started skipping the cutscenes like about like five, six hours into it because I was just I was just done. I was just tired of this. And the dialogue in this game is just the the typical modern AAA snarky irreverent bullshit that, that I think got memed to death in Forspoken. And here it is in Dreadfall with zero shame whatsoever not taking the threat of the vampires seriously making constant annoying quips and just just dreadful and this game just I, I, I honestly I I am just I am astounded by its quality I'm astounded that it was allowed to launch in this state and I don't care how many mea culpa interviews Phil Spencer goes out to do to, to do the PR damage control rounds for this game. This is under Xbox's watch. If, if Xbox wants to play this, this game where they buy Bethesda and they have their little round table discussion about, oh, we're in the same family now. We're together. We're married. You know, it's not the Xbox game show anymore. It's the Xbox and Bethesda game show. Yeah, that's what it is now. If you want to do that, then you're going to have to start taking this shit a little more seriously as far as quality control. And I actually agree with Phil Spencer that I don't think a year delay would have saved this. I absolutely don't. I think this game... If Xbox was smart, they should have looked at this before announcing it. Once that purchase was finalized, they should have done a total, like, 
analysis of every single game that's in development at Bethesda and had enough foresight to look at this and go, no, because this game absolutely reeks of Arcane Austin trying to make a live service. This, this game just has the live service stink all over it, but it doesn't have the monetization and it doesn't have the, 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 we have a 10 year plan for this game kind of aura to it, which makes its existence all the more confusing. And here we are with Redfall. They didn't cancel it. They, they decided, no, you know what? Let's, let's make a falsely advertised trailer for it to end our, our 2021 showcase and get people pumped for the next big IP from Xbox. This is a, this is an Xbox exclusive. That's what Phil Spencer said when this was announced. This is an, a brand new, I'm excited to announce a brand new Xbox exclusive. And it's fucking Redfall. The most embarrassing thing I've played in a long time. And you know what? I've had my fair share of criticisms about Halo Infinite. The last big AAA game that Xbox created. And I think that game sucked even at launch. As far as the single player and it had definitely had its issues with the multiplayer but you know what at least even with halo infinite it felt good to play in the single player it was it, the the movement and the shooting felt good it was fun to use that grappling hook a lot of the time i honestly can't say the same thing for redfall this game just feels just absolutely dreadful to play and when i release this video and I get the footage for it, I will have absolutely no qualms about deleting this game from my hard drive and never fucking playing it again. I I am done. I have no interest in wasting more of my time with this, with this fucking game. If Xbox and Arcane and Bethesda can't even bother to put out a polished premium experience at launch, then I'm not gonna fucking bother to finish it. And that is just... That's, man, that's embarrassing. That's just, that's, that's just pathetic. And the fact that Xbox, and again, I, I, I'm not trying to start some console war bullshit, but someone's got to have their feet to the fire, you know, for this. And I'm going to put the blame primarily on Xbox because they are the ones who marketed this game they are the ones who constantly promoted it at their own events they are the ones who are married at the hip to bethesda now they are the ones that have the ultimate say in this and this is just unacceptable and if i was a big like a giant xbox fan like if i was to xbox what i am to playstation i would be livid right now i would be livid and I think people huffing on the copium to defend this game really need to, to like take a step back and look at what they're defending. They're defending a game with a lifeless open world, with gameplay design that was outdated two generations ago, with ugly as fuck graphics, with wretched performance issues, with terrible texture streaming, with brain dead AI, with barely, barely animated cutscenes, if you can call that animation, a slideshow, a boring ass story, boring ass characters, terrible dialogue, and the nerve to put this piece of shit out in the open and go, $70 please? Come on, really? Seriously? But yeah, that's all I gotta say about Redfall. It's a fucking embarrassment. It's absolutely pathetic. And Arcane, Bethesda, and especially Xbox should be fucking ashamed of themselves for having any hand in releasing this thing and in marketing it. This game, Redfall, is absolutely just an embarrassment and pathetic. And I hope to God this never happens again under Xbox's watch. I hope Xbox has enough 
they, they need to get it together as far as their management and their pipeline. I hope to God that this is a wake up call to them. Finally, that this cannot happen again. Because if it does, oh my God, it's just, wow. I, I, mm. oh my God. <laughs> wow. So yeah, Redfall fucking sucks. Don't buy it. Don't even play it on Game Pass. Don't bother spending the time downloading it. Don't make the, the hard drive space for it. It's an absolute fucking disgrace. And it might end up being the worst game I play all year. And none of that is, none of this is hyperbolic. None of the shit you've read about Redfall or seen of Redfall is hyperbolic. This genuinely is a really fucking bad video game.